gosh. And she swallowed it. That is a monster. Outdoors Iowa here. So I was out cruising the river on my kayak a couple weeks ago and I uh, was getting a little comfortable with it and seeing a sandbar that I'd like to do a camp out on. So that is the mission tonight. So we packed up pretty good, got already got a bunch of camping gear, tent, cot, all that, all the works. And I just put in, I'm on the Des Moines River, and we're gonna be chasing channel cats and flathead tonight, hopefully. So, we'll see. But, I've got about 45 minute paddle up river here. I'm gonna be doing, get to where I wanna go, and looks like there might be some storms coming in tonight. They changed it on me. So uh, summertime around 2 o'clock in the morning, I think it's supposed to start 50% chance of rain. And then later in the day, I think it just continues to rain, it doesn't stop. So I'm probably gonna stick it out through the rain through the night and then wake up in the morning. And I brought some rain gear, I'm gonna pack up, and start heading back for the boat ramp to head home. So we'll see how it goes. I'll bring you guys along with me. Hopefully you enjoy it. everybody so just got to the sandbar I'm gonna be staying out for the night not a very big one and we like I said we got some rain coming tonight so I gotta pay attention make sure we're not getting wet tonight so we'll see how that goes but I'm gonna get some baits in the water and then start getting camp set up so we'll stick with it and hopefully it's a good fishing night tonight before the storm comes in I'm running I'm decent sized sunny with I believe it's called St. T. Cooper Rig where I'm floating the bait off the bottom. I'm going to cast this one out. I want to leave some space down here later and see if there's going to be some flyheads that run that bank come up. And I'm going to throw, I have some special bait that I'm going to throw over there. Wait until you guys see this. While I'm waiting to rig up that pole, I'm gonna throw out a channel cat rod. And I'm trying to use a trying to use a special bait for channel cat tonight that I made myself. I am trying the cherry Kool-Aid chicken with minced garlic. We'll see how it works. Whew. That stuff is so strong I had to bag it up in four different Ziploc baggies and you can still smell it through it. So just a couple packs of cherry Kool-Aid. Uh, sliced up chicken breast, a couple spoonfuls of minced garlic. We will see how this does for channel cats.
tank. That was a two person? No, it's a one person. There is just enough room for the cot. So, gonna be a tight squeeze tonight, but should work. Don't need much. So, I got that going. I'm gonna gather some firewood uh, before it gets too dark. And after a bit, I'm gonna, I'm letting deer loins, I brought some deer loins to cook for tonight on the grill. I brought a little propane grill. So I'll cook those up tonight for dinner. And I still have to rig up my other pole for that special bait that I have. So I might just do that right now first. I'll tell you what guys, this is awesome. I'm happy to come out here and do this. Even if I'm gonna get rained on, it's still gonna be fun. I'm gonna enjoy it. I also took and this sandbar is only two, three feet high. So I put my tent down lower. That way, if the water's coming up, it'll wake me up. And I should have enough time to be able to get the kayak packed up and get out of here before I lose my sandbar. But I don't feel like we're gonna get that much rain that early. So we'll see. Hopefully, this uh, turns out to be a good trip. I don't think I've had a bite yet. But I'm happy. I'm happy to be out here. It'd be nice to be doing this with, with another person, especially being the first time, but I'm also out here on a weekday, so that's a lot harder for people to come out, so. Pretty awesome, you guys. I'm gonna get setting up. All that special bait I was telling you guys about earlier, he is going out. <laughs> so, this is actually a rather large piece of bait. Um, most likely won't be uh, any hits on it, but if it does, there's a good chance you could get a really nice flathead off of it. So, we're going to give him a toss out and hopefully we can uh, manage to catch something with them. That would be pretty neat. I've caught a lot of nice fly heads with, with big goldfish before. So, give them a throw out and see what, what happens. I'm hoping something big hits this guy. All right guys, so it's starting to get dark. I've got stuff ready to start a fire. My deer loins are almost thawed out, so I'll be cooking those here shortly. So, getting set up, it's starting to cool off a little bit, so that's nice. I'm hoping for a good night. I'm gonna get cameras and lights set up, and hopefully we get into some fish tonight. I'm excited. This is pretty awesome to be out here. Hopefully it doesn't rain on me too bad, but if it does, oh well. I'll make it back. I'll bring you guys back later if I get some action. So tonight, we've got some inner deer loins that I am cooking up for one of the small deer that I killed last fall. Got a nice little propane grill here. I'm gonna switch to red light though because the bugs are gonna get in my steaks here. Oh, that's not too bad on camera, I don't think. Just trying to keep everything out of the sand and grill's nice and hot. I got a fire going. Just had some guys coming through checking diddy poles and I haven't had any bites yet, unfortunately. Um, hopefully that changes throughout the night. But so far, it's starting to finally cool off. It was nice and warm earlier. All right, there's all my seasonings. Almost too many, but that's the way I like it. Whew, that was a loud bat. All right. These are gonna cook up real quick. Real quick. But man, are they gonna be good. All right. 
and the deer meat is on. Tell you what, when you're out camping, good food is definitely important. Looks like I have to readjust some of my lines when the boat went through. I've got my big goldfish now down here on the end of the sandbar. Probably can't see out there. I've got a sunny on bottom and a bullhead on a bobber. So we'll give her a try. But let me rinse off this plate and I'm gonna finish cooking or I'm gonna get some food. Should be a good night tonight. I'm happy. Especially with a nice little fire going. I'll try to keep it from getting too hot though. I get warm pretty easily. Oh. Plenty of wood laying around out here. Got a pretty good pile going. All right. Ooh, that deer line smells good. Let's see what she looks like. These inner loins cook up really, really quick. So you don't want to overcook them. And I got them going pretty fast too. Nice high heat. Just a couple of minutes on each side and you're done. Bon appetit. Something peaceful about being out here. Hopefully, something interrupts my peaceful night with the clicker going zzz, zzz, zzz. we'll see i'm ready though definitely ready i didn't get any bites on that cherry kool-aid chicken yet uh i pulled it out of the water and put some flathead baits out but i might put it back out here after a bit and try again not too sure maybe i did it too strong on the garlic but last i was told catfish really like garlic so kind of interesting well just out here finishing up my inner deer loins that I cooked up man did they turn out good doesn't take long to cook them I haven't had any bites yet. Had one boat go by that's checking diddy poles along the river. So, a few other people out here. I don't know if they plan on staying all night or not, but I'm gonna be here till morning, probably after the rain starts, because it's supposed to rain. So we'll see how that goes. But, got my tent set up, my cot set up. Got a nice little fire going. We've got three poles set out for flyhead. So we got that big goldfish set out, so we'll see if he gets hit or not. And then I'm just running a bullhead and sunny on the other, so we'll see how that goes. Should make for a good night, hopefully. I'm sure feeling lucky tonight, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get into some big uglies. And I'm wearing my River Certified shirt. It's even fitting since I'm out on the river. Hoping to get in some flyhead. Then clean up after my meal and get everything situated for the night. Finish it up. And I will bring you guys back if I end up getting the fish hooked up. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon. I just got back in from checking baits. Wanted to grab my coffees. Took a bathroom break. So I had my sonny had wrapped himself up and he he died. So it's a good thing I got out and checked bait. I recasted my big bullhead. And I threw the bobber pole further out in the middle of the river. 
So we'll see how that goes. But not too bad. Should be a little break in the storm here in about an hour or so. And I'll probably start packing up and heading for the boat ramp before the light another big storm comes up behind it. Looks like there's one coming from Nebraska that's pretty pretty big. So I'm gonna try to stay ahead to that one and make it home safe. Still haven't caught anything yet. Had two runs last night and that was it. Could have been turtles, could have been gar, right? I don't think it was catfish. So hopefully something decides to bite for us. We'll see. I see carp jumping up out of the water right now. Really been enjoying this. Couldn't have picked a better time though. Oh my goodness. I thought just because I had a couple days without kids that why not? Let's do it. I think I had this planned in about a week. So still a fun time, great experience. Definitely happy about it. Alright, well, I sure gave it a good try. Um, fished all night, fished most of the morning. I did not catch a fish on this trip, so. Looks like this is going to be a camping video, but hopefully, you guys find it interesting and enjoy the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully next time I get out on the kayak, I'm able to stick some fish. But coming up here pretty soon is going to be uh, 500 subscribers on YouTube. Um, I'd like to do a shirt giveaway. So keep an eye on that coming up. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I'll do it on YouTube. And I'll leave some directions for it somehow, however we're going to do it. But I think this is a wrap. I'm packed up. Get ready to start heading back for the boat ramp and heading on out of here. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching Trevor Randall's Outdoors Iowa.